Now our series, The Running Mates. Senator Barack Obama is becoming a household name, but we don't know much about his wife, Michelle. Well, they met when Obama was still an intern at a law office. She was his advisor. Now she's a successful businesswoman, a hands-on mom to their two young daughters, and her husband's most outspoken supporter. I caught up with Michelle Obama over the weekend after a luncheon at the Brooklyn Baptist Church in West Columbia, South Carolina. Level of warmth here, and I want to claim this as my South Carolina church home away from home. So. She has been called his closest advisor and his daily reality check. 43-year-old Michelle Obama, wife of Democratic presidential hopeful Senator Barack Obama, was raised on the south side of Chicago, a graduate of Princeton University and Harvard Law School. Today, she juggles a career, duties as wife and mother of two little girls, and now campaigner. And as the country is learning, she is no shrinking violent. I, I know my husband's wonderful. Right, I think he's a tremendous man, but sometimes I wonder, uh, are you all here for him? <laughs> really? You are a strong woman. You're a professional no. woman. Yes, you're professional. <laughs> you are someone that you speak your mind. Um, you, have a, you have something to say. There's some people who look at it as a negative. I don't want to paint some unrealistic picture of who we are so that in the end, when it falls apart and we haven't lived up to this unrealistic expectation, people feel let down in some way. This is who we are. I've got a loud mouth. Um, I tease my husband. Uh, he is incredibly smart and he is um, very able to deal with a strong woman, which is one of the reasons why he can be president, because he can deal with me. <laughs> <laughs> with a landmark run of both Senator Hillary Clinton and Senator Obama for the 2008 presidential bid, many wonder who has a better shot at making history. Do you think the American public is ready for a woman more so than an African-American or vice versa? I, I think that the American people are, are ready to have somebody that they can believe in um, and that they can connect to. And I think that if Barack does what he's supposed to do and he can be clear and articulate in his message, he'll be the next president of, of the United States. I'm, I'm, I'm clear on that. You have said your husband's campaign can change the image of black America. What is the image that you're hoping will be portrayed? Well, as, as we've all said in the black community, um, we don't see all of who we are in, in the media. We see snippets of, of, of our community and distortions of our community. So the world has this perspective that somehow Barack and Michelle and Obama are different that we're unique and we're not. Uh, you just haven't seen us before. Michelle's now stepping out from behind the scenes and onto the campaign trail. For the first time, the country is hearing her strong views. Our concern for these issues. We've been nullified by the fear mongers. You know, it's almost as if people have voted against their best personal interests because they've been so afraid of what could happen you know, the terrorists are going to get us. Is it not a real concern, though, terrorism? It's, a, it's, an, uh, it's an incredibly important concern, but where's the balance? You know, is, is really the question, where is the balance? You have to be a respected player. You have to do a little bit of both. Um, so that non-ideological, uh, non-fear-based approach is really what we need now as a country. 2002, your husband was a state senator. Mm -hmm. But he was almost a lone voice out there about the Iraq war. I don't oppose war in all circumstances. What I do oppose is a dumb war. But what is your feeling and your husband's feeling these many years later? You know, what you hear him saying now is that you, know, you can't do the I told you so. We're in a war. Um, we have young men and women over there fighting right now, and we have to think pragmatically about bringing this to an end. And again, you can't take a rash approach. You can't just pull folks out. You can't just cut off funding completely. You've got to unravel this thing uh, in, a, in, in a common sense way. You are one of his closest advisors. What is it that's on his mind that you're advising him about the most? Barack and I have always been very professionally independent. And I like it like that because I don't want to 
I don't want to do my husband's job and I don't want him to do mine. So we're, we're focused on our day-to-day -day life and existence and making sure that we stay whole. And I would say that in that respect, that's where I'm his biggest advisor. Do you see yourself more as a first lady like Laura Bush or more like Hillary Clinton? You know, I try to uh, stay away from those comparisons and also the question. And I say that because it is so hard to project out realistically what uh, life will be like for me as a woman, for me as a mother, um, when Barack becomes president. It's hard to know. What I do know is that um, given the many skills that I have on so many different levels, I will be what I have to be at the time. And it really will depend on what the country needs, what my family needs, what Barack needs. Um, so I want to remain flexible enough so that whatever is needed of me, that's what I will do. A very strong woman, a very warm woman, but someone who is very free to speak her mind. Yes, direct. Uh, and I also loved what she said earlier, that it's not about an African-American or a woman. It's about the person we connect with in this country, one and, way or the other. And that's what they firmly believe. But also, she seems like she, or she says, which is true, she's very much like a lot of working moms juggling work, juggling the husband, juggling two small children, and very concerned about the safety, really concerned about her husband's safety on the campaign trail. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about that more later this week. Mm -hmm.